Warning if you haven't watched Dr. No. This video contains spoilers. Bond. James Bond. Welcome to Mystical Luna. This episode is Dr. No in depth, which shares my opinion on Dr. No from 1962. Of course, whether you know me from Bond Twitter or not, welcome to Bond. Visited 60 years on episode one. Before the analysis starts, let's look at background information. Our director is Terence Young. Meanwhile, our Bond is the iconic Sean Connery. Dr. No is based of Ian Fleming's 1958 novel of the same name, which was the sixth novel published after From Russia With Love. Now let's start looking back on. We start with our gun barrel sequence. However, stop. That's Bob Simmons, not Sean Connery. Connery would start doing the gun barrels in 1965's Thunderball. Now my first criticism. Why is three blind mice playing? Sure leads on to three blind men, but really? Now we meet Strangways, who is a character in the original novels. However, we see him die by the three blind men. <laughs> then we cut to Strangways' unaimed assistant. And then we get one intense title. Drop in part due to Norman's score. But cut a little to one very iconic moment, the first. Bond. James Bond. Well, see if he's there, will you? Now on to M's briefing, which I'll highlight something I caught only on my most recent rewatch of Dr. No, which is this. The American CIA sent a man down to work with Strangways. A fellow by the name of Leiter, did you know him? I heard of him, but never met him. And that after Bond arrives in Jamaica, the shot is used. And on a first viewing, it can be assumed that Leiter is an henchman for the mysterious Dr. No. Talk fast before your friend doubles back. Still continuing that on a first viewing that this friend is another henchman, not Felix Leiter. Cut a bit forward to when Bond visits Strangway's place where his assistant was killed by the three blind men. Hold on. It's the three blind men in the background. Never would have caught that if I didn't see a tweet on my timeline about it. Go on in. Receipt from Dent Laboratories. After Bond takes Strangway's receipt to Dent, Dent then travels to see Dr. No, in which is possibly my favorite scene with him. And as once he's revealed, Dr. No doesn't have then the mystery and suspense as shown on Dent's face. Bond has discovered those rock samples of Strangway's came from Crab Key. He's not a fool, he's sure to come out here. Behind you. Now almost an hour in, we have easily one of Dr. No's most iconic moments, the death of Professor Dent. You've had your six. Is there a Bond girl more iconic than Honey Rider? I don't believe so, just because of the stunning Ursula Andress. Who is that? Quarrel's death is quite disturbing after knowing him for so long. <laughs> Dr. No is finally seen. With only 20 minutes of runtime left, this is, I'm afraid, where the film dulls for me as I much prefer the unseen. Dr. No, however, I do love this set made by Ken Adam. This isn't my favorite dinner with the villain scene. I think that would go with the one in 1974's The Man with the Golden Gun. But more on that 
it, I became... Whenever I get around to it, however I do enjoy that. Dr. No explains what Spectre stands for. Spectre? Spectre. Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, Extortion. Then, I don't really have much to comment on apart from the ending. But Dr. Julius knows death, which in contrast to many others the franchise would give, is kind of a forgotten one for me, although I do enjoy the physical fighting. Final note before the conclusion. I love this rendition of Underneath the Mango Tree. Nice and relaxing. A nice ending for the first big screen bond adventure. In conclusion, 1962's Dr. No is a great beginning to the franchise that just gets better onwards, whether it's the excellent Sean Connery performance or the stunning Ursula and dress in her iconic introduction. Coming next up, From Russia With Love Revisited Out. Hopefully soon. Catch everyone later. Also thank you to Fan of Fleming, Fond of Bond for convincing me to do this, Michael D. Kenyon for inspiring me with incredible shorts, I highly recommend, and also both Spy Hards and Really 007, which both have helped me improve my confidence, not just to do this but to use my voice. Happily expect for one of, not an artificial voice, but my own. Eventually, remember peace and love.